I've often said that the difference between a picture taker and a photographer is the difference between a piano player and a composer. Let's shoot. You ready? You can teach anybody to play a piano, but you cannot teach a composition. You want to flip it? <laughs> Good answer. The gear is so important, but without the person's ability to put it together, the gear is just electronics sitting there in a, in a box. If you make your life easy creatively, which is what the LEDs and the mirrorless cameras will do, if you make your life easy, your creativity is going to skyrocket. If you have the goods. That's, I think, the trick of, of photography and the beauty of art is you have all these, these things inside your head that you want to communicate out to the world and you need the gear to be able to help you do it. If I had one camera, it would be the A9. If I had one light, it would be the AOS. The A9 is by far the best camera I've ever used. I, you know how many times I'm told so, if you're a Sony shooter, you're a cheater? It's not cheating. What it's doing is it's releasing you creatively. We're going to showcase some of the ability of the electronic shutter on the uh, A9. You know, sometimes you hear 20 frames a second, you're not, oh, that's kind of cool. But when you see it, I remember the first time I saw it, it was amazing. And the fact that the, the, the camera rolls off over 200 shots, 240 some odd shots in RAW before it hits the buffer, means you aren't gonna hit it. All right, Tesco, I'm ready when you are. We have a parkour uh, athlete here who's gonna be performing for us, which is gonna be fantastic. And she's gonna be doing backflips and One, all sorts of stuff. Two, three. I mean, when you can get 20 frames a second, which is close to film, which does 24, it's pretty nuts. And you'll notice once the shots pop, in other words, once the resolution comes in, she's in focus in every single shot. The focus is just ridiculous on the camera. What's more important than focus on a camera? The answer is nothing. If you get a great shot and the eye's out of focus, you just, you just want to cry. What's the benefit of using continuous light over flash? You know what you're getting, right? LED lighting enables us to see our composition, set our focus, acquire focus much easier. Uh, mono lights have a problem. The model lamps are usually too weak to be able to do that. It also enables us to uh, just see what we're getting. And when you pair it with something like Sony, where you have a mirrorless option, where you can see what you're gonna get before you take it, it cuts down on your workflow, cuts down on your shots that you take, which cuts down on your post-production, which honestly makes you more money as a photographer. Guys, if you're trying to learn lighting and you're trying to learn it with flash, you're trying the wrong way. You master this lighting, you'll do everything that you learn with this type of lighting and you can transfer it into flash. I want the crowd to take home the fact that LED lighting can change their photography. And I'm a big proponent of strobes. I use them for a long time. But strobes, you have to guess where the light's gonna be. And if you have a lot of experience, yes, that guessing gets a lot faster. But with LED lights, you can see how the shadows are gonna fall. You can see uh, the composition is pre-made for you. But you guys see my point? When you can get a shot like that, and all you have to do is set up a light, set up a diffuser, and fire with a camera that fires that well, wide open, in a dimly lit environment, this is why I'm telling you, think as a business. The great artists have the best gear. I've said it a million times. And so now, continuous lights are much more affordable. So the everyday person like you, me, or whoever else can now get Hollywood-type lighting uh, for our work, which is amazing. So I, I think for that reason, it's, it's, a, it's a great time to be a photographer.